There's um, actually been quite a lot of uh, Star Wars bootleg stuff coming out recently, probably due to the movie Rogue One coming out recently as well. So here we are with another LEGO Star Wars set, this time from Pogo. Uh, this is PG671-2678. We have uh, Tatooine Padme Amidala, uh, Mace Windu here. Um, regular Mace Windu, not Clone Wars anything. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, I think based on the newer version of him. Uh, Darth Maul's not quite brother. Uh, Ahsoka Tano uh, from Rebels, because it's like the older version of her. Uh, a, uh, what do you call this droid? I forget the name of this droid. Some sort of droid, droid, droid. Uh, one of the Death Star droids that came out with the new version of Death Star. So we got the new version of Luke Skywalker with the new hair, also in the new version of Death Star. And uh, we have Slave Leia, which is, a again, a newer version of her from the um, not quite recent release of uh, Jabba the Hutt's Palace release, what, like last year or something? Uh, I don't have that set, but I kind of want it. It's a nice set. Uh, if you also get the Rancor one as well, that's also pretty nice. Which um, they also, uh, Pogo also released a uh, Rancor figure recently. So uh, Padme here has a regular sort of blaster. We have the purple lightsaber for uh, Mace Windu. Um, but Mace Windu's head seems very... Doesn't really scream Samuel Jackson, which is unfortunate. Which is uh, sometimes why I prefer like Clone Wars versions of these characters because the, like the animation style, the cartoon uh, allows Lego to make the face match up the character just a little bit more. Uh, Qui Gon Jinn here is okay, I guess. He just kind of looks like Qui Gon Jinn, so I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, the, this guy here, his um, horns are painted a bit too yellow. Bit contrast from his face, that's not, not so nice. Uh, so Katano here obviously has a really big uh, Twi'lek. Is it Twi'lek? No. Twi'lek's the, the other one. Uh, this race is... can't remember. But she has a hip, big headpiece going on, so that's cool. Death Star droid's a bit boring, but uh, it's nice to have, I guess. If you have the older version Death Star, or even the leap-in copy of the old version Death Star, here's another two characters you can add to that to up grade or update the figures if you want to do that with bootlegs. Uh, but LEGO themselves have been slowly releasing uh, smaller sets that do come with some of the newer figures that are in the new Death Star, so eventually you can probably replace all the old figures if you want to. Um, that's what I've been doing with some of the newer LEGO sets, just I'll swap figures in and out. Uh, I'm planning on picking up Luke's speeder eventually, so I have those two figures, like Obi-Wan and Luke, to pop in. To the, to the Death Star as well. And we have, uh, he's, he's got a blue lightsaber. The blue color is really nice. It's not your Lego blue. Um, it's a bit darker, but it looks really cool. I, I like that blue a lot. And because we have Slave Leia here, who does have the little uh, connecting thing on the back there. Little uh, stud connector. And um, she has fully painted hair piece as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually already really liking this set. Probably too to all the, all the lightsabers we have here because they're all different colors. So they look Pretty nice, uh, pretty cool. Uh, this one is uh, not too purple though, it's a bit blue, but it's darker, it's like a really dark blue. Almost looks purple um, underneath this camera, but um, yeah, it's still it's a bit, bit too blue. Uh, we have annoyed Padme face here, because uh, Qui-Gon's like, ooh, we can't do the green and stuff, the queen would agree, and she's like, no, she won't. Are you an angel? Urgh. Now she's even more annoyed. <laughs> so we got her going on. Um, yeah, just remove her happy. She has a slightly happier face underneath. And uh, really thick hair mold here. Uh, looks kind of weird from the side. Mm. There she is without uh, the hair piece. And yeah, looks all right. Um, doesn't really scream uh, Natalie Portman or anything. But then none of these figures would uh, scream their actors anyway. Next we have Mace Windu here, which, um, again, while not the Clone Wars version, he does have white pants for some reason, which almost reminds me of, like, Clone War armor, maybe? A bit of a print issue there around the edge of the uh, top legs, but uh, that happens with regular Lego anyway. Uh, no back print whatsoever, completely blank, um, which is quite distracting, because he doesn't even have, like, a robe or cape or anything. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn here. The green also looks very nice. Just remove his hairpiece, it's the same as the uh, original Qui-Gon Jinn, so no updates there, because that's fine, why fix what's not broken? Just remove his head, which is quite tightly plugged to his body. 
Um, he does have a second face. Let me just put that head back on. It's really tight. Uh, uh. So instead of giving us the... Because um, it's base is copied from the Lego set, so the Lego didn't give us that uh, scuba diving uh, mask, but, but instead they just printed it onto the face, which is fine, I guess. Because would that fit with this hairpiece? Yeah, I'll probably get away in, in the way of this hairpiece. That's why they probably just printed it on instead of giving us that um, mouth plastic piece to breathe. A bit of a shame, really, because that piece is actually a really good piece. Uh, you can sometimes get it in uh, the, like the Batman or, or Captain America sets where they're in space on the water. Next we have him. I already pointed out that the yellow on his head is a very distractingly different. But there he is. Um, just remove his lightsaber. It's a dual-sided lightsaber, of course, because he's Miles' brother, because it's double-sided. Um, just remove this thick arm piece, which is really tight on him. He does have print underneath. So once you remove the armor piece and the head piece, which is made out of hard plastic right away, so it's actually quite sharp and pointy and painful to hold, uh, you can see that he does have a dress underneath, like ooh la la, he's been undressed, uh, literally. And uh, underneath the back of the armor piece, you can see it has more print details around, all the way around, so that that's nice, I guess. Um, yeah, the silver's a little bit messed up on the edge of his armor though, just a little bit messed up there. You can say that's like battle wear or something, I don't know. Uh, back of him, he's got a cross with a pointy arrow. Hmm. Next up, these guys here are also printed pretty well. Uh, Luke has a Luke, more Luke-ish face. Leia, not so much. Uh, Death Star Droid first, because he's the easiest to get through. And he's, uh, his details are printed very sharp. It, there's, um, there's, you know, there's light grey, dark grey and silver print, so that, that's all pretty good. Um, his legs very similar to a C-3PO leg, but it's not quite the same. Uh, back of the body is also printed very nicely, and uh, just so you can see it, oops, uh, the side of his head, he's got that really buggy look going on. And um, I saw an image of the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack that's going to be coming out in June, I believe, along with the next wave of LEGO Star Wars sets, and... Uh, and it was a very blurry picture, but I can see uh, Bosk, you know, like the lizard bounty hunter, uh, Dengar, uh, IG-88, and uh, the front one of the droids also oh, kind of looks like this one. It's like a black droid with this sort of buggy head. So, uh, if you, again, this is one of those figures that it, that's in the new Death's, new version of Death Star, but if you don't, if you already have the old Death Star, you can wait for that um, battle pack and you have another figure to plug into your old Death Star to update it just a little bit. Uh, Leia here, of course, is printed very nicely with the gold and uh, red going on. And the gold paint job and the molding on the hair is also pretty nicely done as well. So, just gonna... She does have a double face print. Just gonna remove her uh, gear from her. Uh, um, so, yeah. As you expect, her second face is a more sort of a grumpy face, which makes sense. Luke Skywalker here, he's got this kind of happy face. I sort of, my I kissed my sister face. <laughs> so there he is. Uh, the print detail on him is excellent. I have no problems with this guy's print whatsoever. It's really good. Um, back has a more annoyed face. It's like, oh, I didn't get to kiss my sister face. So that's, that's something. Um, yeah, the details on these are all very, very nicely done. Um, Finally, with Ahsoka, we can we move our lightsabers? She actually comes with uh, dual wielding, uh, dual wielding Count Dooku sabers. By that I mean it's in the shape of a Count Dooku saber. It's bent. Hmm. So yeah, her hair headpiece is painted all the way over. It's painted mostly okay. So the side you can see is completely smudged. Same on the side as well. But that's fine. I have the Clone Wars Ahsoka, so I'm okay with that. Uh, the official one. I would just bought it as a figure. I didn't get it from a set or anything. As uh, I too was getting tired of getting all these big sets just for that one character I want. And here's the back of her again with a uh, more neutral face here. The front face is angry, and yeah, here's the neutral face. So overall, these are pretty good-looking figures. <laughs> that Luke face is quite funny. That annoyed one. 
So, uh, the set is pretty good. You have a nice selection of figures here. Uh, the worst printed one is Ahsoka's headpiece. The front and the back are all quite smudged and off-center. And the second bad one is the Darth Maul's uh, yellow brother there. His face just... The yellow isn't yellow enough, so it looks off compared to the headpiece. If you remove the headpiece, the rest of the face does look pretty flat and pretty ugly. Uh, feels very much like a bootleg, so the printing there is pretty bad. Uh, the rest of the figures all have almost perfect print. Uh, maybe Leia's hip piece, the gold on her hip, is a little bit off, like it wasn't printed on too uh, securely, so the, to the gold feels a bit faded. But apart from that, uh, the rest of them are printed pretty much one-to-one -one spot on with official LEGO. And they also have all the double face prints when needed and when the original had it. So they they were trying to go for one-for-one -one copies of the original ones here. And of course the lightsaber color colors are a little bit different due to plastic quality or the, the types of plastic that they use maybe. But um, they still look really nice. The green on the Qui-Gon saber that is uh, really giving a neon like effect so I like that a lot and the other color savers are also pretty cool um, and I probably just like them because they're a bit different from what we uh, usually see either from official Lego or other bootleg Lego that have been trying to copy lightsabers these just feel different and unique so I'm quite pleased with these um, so yeah and then one more thing to note about these figures is um, aside from the few print issues on three of the figures here when you hold them and pick them up the quality of the plastic feels really, really good. I'm just going to open uh, Padme's figure up here. So just you can see the inside there, they've actually, uh, they didn't cheap out on saving plastic. Uh, we got a lot of bootlegs from before where they would hollow out the center of the torso to save plastic money. But of course, that comes at the sacrifice of the clutch between the hip and the torso. And of course, the durability of the body itself. Because if there's nothing inside, you can you know, squeeze it and maybe break the plastic after a while. Whereas here, the, these figures feel very solid and very secure. I can push hard on them and they don't feel like breaking. So that thing, that, that's really, really good. Uh, so these figure quality has definitely gone up. And um, even touching them, um, if you've uh, had any of the figures from any of the DVDs or uh, guidebooks or visual books or whatever books where they give you a figure, these feel pretty much the same quality as those official Lego. You hold it up and the plastic feels good in the hand. It feels like this is good plastic. So I hope this isn't just a single run of these that has this kind of plastic and I hope Pogo continues to have this at least this kind of plastic and maybe who knows improve it even more to official Lego set plastic. Who knows, but the body and the legs are very smooth to touch and feel, they feel very good and the hair pieces, the more shiny pieces uh, feel like more shiny Lego pieces that are you know less smooth but um, they feel real. If I was to close my eyes and just touch this, I think this was a Lego figure. The the smooth texture here is just so nice. I can't understate, uh, overstate that enough. It it's just feels really good, and um, it's one of those things that um, you won't be able to tell on the camera. But once you get it, if you get your hands on one of these, you hold one of the older Pogo stuff, and if the other older bootlegs, and then you hold one of these, and you'll be you instantly be able to feel the difference between the plastic quality. That's how much they've jumped. And if you look back when I first did the Pogo reviews, when they have the problems with the left arm where it was far too tight and the plastic felt kind of cheap, uh, these ones have been a huge jump on that. Every every month or so, Pogo quality seems to have improved. And I'm glad for that. Uh, for the people who can't aff afford official Lego, there are some really nice figures out there for a fraction of the price that uh, you can enjoy. And for those those haters out there, these aren't for you. If you can afford afford official Lego, go ahead, buy it. I buy official Lego too. Look, I can just pan over there and I have a whole shelf full of uh, official Star Wars Lego and all that good stuff. I like Lego too, but you gotta remember in, uh, in Hong Kong, uh, Lego prices are a lot more expensive than where you are in America. And uh, England now has also become a really expensive place to get Lego. But if you're in Malaysia, Indonesia, or Philippines, or some of the other Southeast Asian countries, Lego is double or sometimes triple the price that you're paying. Just because you can afford your price, people here who have lower salaries, and Lego is triple the price, they can't get it. So this is for them. This is their market. And uh, these figures are so nice quality. 
Which uh, does beg the question, why does LEGO have to be so expensive? Um, even if you count in the, the, the licensing fees and all that, so... Yeah, that, that, that was a bit of a tension. But, uh, by the way, Happy Chinese New Year. I haven't said that in any of these videos yet. I've filmed about five or six of these today. Uh, trying to catch up, of course, because my channel has been a little bit quiet. It's been Chinese New Year. I've been a bit busy with some other work as well. And um, But I'm going to make up for lost time by trying to film all of this stuff in front of me as well. As, um, you know, they're all built. If you saw my whole video, you know they're all there. And so they just lie on the floor in these little bags. So, yeah, you can probably spot some other stuff there. I'm gonna get through these, uh, and um, this, uh, there you go. I highly recommend this set. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course, take care and have a nice day. I've also done a lot of other LEGO Star Wars, both official and bootleg reviews on this channel, so please check those out. Please turn that block off, because if you do that, I will not be able to sustain this channel anymore, especially with the January month where uh, YouTube ad revenues are on an all-time low. Um, I'm actually a little bit worried about next month's stuff, seeing what I can review. And uh, or you can support me on Patreon if you don't like adverts. That would help me a lot as well. I also have an animation channel. That's Digger318. That's Digger318 and not Toy Reviews. So hopefully you can uh, support me on that as well. If you think this channel deserves it, uh, give me a shout out. Share this video with other people who'd be interested. Remember how cheap these things are. So my people go, oh my god, it's so cheap. I want to get it. I want to get it. Um, and of course, may the force be with you. And since there is a Leia figure in here, it's... Uh, Important to say, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll miss you, Princess. Take care. Bye bye.